we are at the University of New Hampshire Fairchild Dairy Center. It's a research center on the campus right next to Route 4. About 40, I would say, give or take, students working here. That is between our cream class and also employed. The CREAM program is really unique in the fact that it's a hands-on experiential class. So we get to learn sort of from A to Z all the parts of the dairy industry and especially the industry specific to the UNH Dairy Barn. I started getting involved with cows uh, through the CREAM program um, and now I work at the Dairy Barn for John. Students basically do all the other labor. So we milk the cows, feed the cows, clean up the string. We also have quite a group of graduate students that work that for their master's and their doctorate degree, do most of the lion's share of the research here. When I'm running a study, I will hire anywhere from six to 10 students that are working with me on the study. Some of them um, will even, they'll do it as part of their senior thesis. So they're working with me, but they're taking that data and they're writing a thesis with it. I actually just started working on Nancy's studies. And it's just so cool as a student get to come here and do research and work with cows and get published. They're learning how to process samples. They're learning how to analyze data. They're learning the whole thing. We do so much research and um, not only just one study, but there's a bunch of people doing different studies. I think we have four or five people doing studies right now. I happen to work with a lot with calves and heifers and pre-fresh cows. My lab is trying to improve their health. We do some work with milk replacers trying to optimize growth and look at efficiency. Everyone should be concerned about food. It's one of the only things that we all have to do every day. We all have to eat. We do a lot with nutritional studies because one of the things we want to do is to decrease the amount of nitrogen that animals are excreting. Dairy firms produce a lot of manure, but we also here at UNH, we spread our manure on our own fields. We chop our own corn. You know, we really are minimizing the external inputs. Uh, our animals are quite pampered. They are probably friendlier than a lot of farms, I'm sure, because they have so many, so much interaction with the students. Yeah, she's a good heifer. For the cream herd specifically, uh, you're assigned a cow, um, and you get to name um, your cow's baby. I know every single cow in this bar and their number and their name and their personalities and they're adorable. <laughs> My cow is Rue, 671. Rue <laughs> um, is a troublemaker. She likes to get into things she's not supposed to. <laughs> what are you doing? Get it. Get back up there. Everyone hates my cow, but I love her. She's, she's a sweetheart, but she's a troublemaker. At the end of the day, what really matters, in my opinion, is these kids. We have students that are all over the United States uh, working Midwest, Northeast, Southeast, um, all working in the dairy industry. You've got to love this field. I'm lucky I get to teach the upperclassmen, and those students are very interested in what, what we're doing. We try to have the students do, do as much and get involved so they can learn a lot about the operation, and learn about farming, and, and working with cows. You get really close to your teachers and your boss, like John and I, pretty close. <laughs> so it's just nice to have that feeling, especially where I am kind of far from home. Animal science students are, are really in need around the United States to ensure a, a food secure nation. Uh, food is, is critical. Consumers are really concerned about where their food comes from and uh, there's a definite need for uh, our students in, the, in that area.